Now I call upon Dr. William Campbell to present his response to Dr. Zakir Naik. Well, Dr. Nike has brought up some real problems. <laughs> I don't agree with his answer about the Koran in terms of the Alaka and Mudaga. I still think it's a big problem. But that's his opinion and my opinion. So everybody will have to go home and think about it themselves. He spoke about he hasn't mentioned, met any person that took the poison test. I can't present the person because he's already gone to be with the Lord, but I have friend Harry Radcliffe. And he lived in a town in the south of Morocco. And one of his people who he thought was a friend invited him over for a lunch, for a dinner. And he invited the, the, the wife and son also. And so when Harry agreed to go, somebody came and knocked on the door and said, the man's going to poison you. So they went. Harry took this very verse that you've read, and he decided that he should go because he had said he would. So he went. He waited, hoping to find a time when, when the man brought in the couscous, he could turn, the man would go out and he could turn the couscous around. But there was no such time. So he dug in and he ate. His wife was too, she wasn't able to eat very much, and they had fed their son before they went. But Harry ate. And that night, Harry got pains in his tummy. And he had some blood. But he lived. And so two days later, he went and knocked on the door. And the man came and opened the door, and his face went absolutely white. And Harry thanked him for the meal. I thought, so I give you this one example anyway. Now you have said about Jesus was only sent to the Jews. Go only go to the, to the Jews to the, and not to the Gentiles. Well, in the Koran itself, it talks about Mary. And then she says, I don't know any man in Sora 1921. And then it says that Jesus is to be a sign unto men and a mercy from us. In Matthew 4, 9, a lady came and anointed Jesus' feet. He said, Whenever there, wherever this gospel is preached in the whole world, what this woman has done will be told. And in Matthew 28, when Jesus is about to ascend into heaven, he says, Go into all the world and preach the gospel. Well, this is not a contradiction. He did say to his disciples, go only to the Jews, because the Jews were given a certain chance. There's a story in the Bible. I shouldn't use a story, word story, I suppose, but history, where Jesus came to a fig tree. And the fig tree had brought no fruit for three years. And so then the, he said, shall I tear it down? And then Jesus' answer was, no, leave it one more year and we'll fertilize it and see if it brings any fruit. This was all a parable about Israel. He had preached to them three years and he would preach another half. But then there are other parables that he told where he said, all right, it'll be taken away from you, the blessing and given to the Gentiles. Dr. Nike has talked about the day and the periods. The day in the Bible also can have the time of a long period. It doesn't have to be 24 hours, as Dr. Bukai wanted to exist in his book. And I believe that it was, was long periods of time. 
And there are some of these problems that he has said, and I don't deny them, and I don't have good answers for them. But I will tell about... He spoke about uh, the t two kinds of salt, the sweet water and the salt water. I don't agree with his explanation. The Koran says has, that God has let free the two barriers, two bodies of flowing water meeting together. Between them is a barrier which they do not transgress. Then which of the fairy favors of your Lord will you deny? The word used here for barrier is barzak, means interval, or gap, or break, or bar, or obstruction, or isthmus. The same information is given in Al Furqan 2553. It is he who has let free the two bodies of flooring, flowing water, one palatable, palatable and sweet, and the other salty and bitter. And he made between them a barrier and a partition that it is forbidden to pass. The phrase, a partition that it is forbidden to pass, represents two words from the same root. This is done in Arabic to stress or accent whatever is being discussed. The word hijr means forbidden, interdicted, prohibited, all very strong words. And the second word, which is the last participle of the verb, has the same, past participle of the verb, has the same meanings. Therefore, very literally, one might translate this as he, God, made between them a bar and a forbidden forbidding. Dr. Bukai discusses this briefly, and then he, he says, though, and he admits at the end, well, it mixes far out to sea. A scientist friend commenting on this said, it is simply that the salt and fresh water are physically separated. The effluent from the river displacing the seawater, but there is no barrier. Thermodynamically, the mixing is a spontaneous, immediate process, highly favored by entropy. The only barrier is kinetic. It takes a long time for that much stuff to mix. I myself have, been, have had a tiny example of this. I had a friend in Tunisia, and he used to, collect, he used to hunt for, for, for octopi.